interesting facts about famous people. My favorite 10 Western movies from the 60s. This list will be based just on my opinion. No reference to online rating sites. Based on my current opinion. Now that will change over time. But right now these are the Western movies that I chose as my top 10. There are quite a few to choose from, as I'm sure you're aware. So this took a while. I've left off a couple of categories to help whittle it down. No spaghetti westerns, comedies or musicals. Clearly there is no right or wrong statement here, only my opinion. I'm sure you have your own. I'm sure you will let me know your list in the comments. If you enjoy this video, please head over to my channel to take a look at my other videos. The link is in the description. Apologies up front for any mispronunciation of names. The Magnificent Seven, 1960, with a brilliant cast including Yul Brynner, Charles Bronson and Steve McQueen. One of the most iconic theme scores in movie history, a real classic. The film, a loose remake of Akira Kurosaka's masterpiece, Seven Samurai, follows a small village that was attacked by the outlaw, Calvera. In order to protect themselves, three Mexican farmers head out to buy guns. At this point, we know we're about to see some exciting gunfighting action. Butch and Sundance. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969. A western loosely based on the true story of two Wild West outlaws, Robert Leroy Parker, known as Butch Cassidy, and his partner, Harry Longabar, Sundance Kid. Their story tells of them on the run with Sundance's lover, Etta, from a gang after their trail of train robberies. It's ultimately a story of friendship, adventure, romance, crime, and life as an outlaw that never fails to be exciting. True Grit, 1969. Iconically known as one of John Wayne's best westerns, and one which saw him win an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. Wayne appears as Rooster Cogburn, who young Matty Ross hires after her father's murder, looking for revenge. Maddie asks Cogburn to help her track down the man who is responsible. Together, they go on a dangerous and action-packed journey to bring justice to Maddie's father, though Cogburn has some eccentric techniques for hunting someone down. Sergeant Rutledge. This movie revolves around the fictional court-martial of Sergeant Braxton Rutledge, Woody Strode, of the 9th US Cavalry in 1881. At the time, the United States Army maintained four coloured regiments, including the 9th Cavalry. His defence is handled by Lieutenant Tom Cantrell, Hunter, who is also Rutledge's troop officer. The story is told through a series of flashbacks, expanding the testimony of witnesses as they describe the events following the murder of Rutledge's commanding officer, Major Custis Dabney, and the rape and murder of Dabney's daughter, Lucy, for which Rutledge is the accused. Will Penny, 1968. A trail drive is coming to an end, with the resulting payoff of the now out of work trail hands. A trio of punchers, Blue, Dutchy, and an aging Will Penny, Charlton Heston, drift south to avoid the oncoming winter. Will trades his position riding on the train with the cattle to a young cowboy who wants to visit his dying father and tells Will there may be work at the Flat Iron Ranch. Will Penny was a role that Charlton Heston always said was the closest to his real life persona. How the West Was Won, 1962, considered one of Hollywood's greatest epics, received widespread critical acclaim and was a box office success, grossing $50 million, over $498 million today, on a budget of $15 million. At the 36th Academy Award, it earned eight nominations, including Best Picture and won three, for Best Story and Screenplay written directly for the screen, Best Sound and Best Film Editing. Ombre, 1967. In late 19th century Arizona, an Apache-raised white man, John Russell, Paul Newman, faces prejudice in the white world after he returns for his inheritance, a gold watch and a boarding house, on his father's death, deciding to sell the house to buy a herd of horses, which does not endear him to the boarders who live there or to the caretaker, Jesse. Russell ends up riding a stagecoach with Jesse, and unhappily married boarders, Doris and Billy Lee Blake, 
leaving town. Little did they know what would follow. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. A Western directed by John Ford, starring John Wayne and James Stewart. The screenplay was adapted from a 1953 short story written by Dorothy M. Johnson. The supporting cast featured Vera Miles, Lee Marvin as Liberty Valance, Edmund O'Brien, Andy Devine, John Carradine, Woody Strode, Strother Martin and Lee Van Cleef, a classic for the ages, and any true Western fan. Two Road Together, 1961, a Western directed by John Ford, starring James Stewart, Richard Woodmark and Shirley and Jones. Meals. The supporting and cast included meals. Linda Crystal, and Andy meals. Devine and John McIntyre. And the film was based upon the 1959 novel Comanche Captives Jim. by Will Cook. Richard Widmark Jim, stated he had more fun on this film so than any other. So I'm a little like deaf in this ear, so and John well. Ford's a little deaf in the other and James Stewart's hard of hearing in both. So all through the picture, all three of us were going, what, what, what? I've added some runner-ups just for fun. One-eyed Jacks. Sure, kid. You'll get a fair try. And then I'm gonna hang you personally. The Professionals. Mr. Marshall. Ever heard of a J.W. Grant? Mm -hmm. He needs you. Urgent. Ride the high country. Two of a kind when danger threatened, but miles apart when tempers blazed. You always fancied yourself faster than me. Draw, you damn tin horn. Cheyenne Autumn. Coming up high. Now you. I want you to keep your eye right on that bottle. Don't even blink. It's kind of like hypnotized. Keep your eye right on Homer. Keep your eye right on the bottle. You're not going to even feel it. El Dorado. Good morning, Sheriff. Joey, I'm taking a bath. Oh, don't mind me, Sheriff. I was raised with four brothers. Well, I'm not your brother. Doc Miller sent you over these crutches. And... Bandolero. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me your comments. I really appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. As always, please hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take it easy. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.